I love the packaging and neutral palette, easy to use for any beginner. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. In today's video we have a ColourPop haul. I bought all this myself and I'm so excited to share this with you. It's my first ColourPop haul. I do have some ColourPop lippies which is up on my channel. You guys can go check that out. But this is so exciting because we don't have ColourPop in Canada. So I ordered all this online. So I want to unbox it here with you guys. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. You mean the world to me. Now let's get into the haul. So first and foremost we are going to go with the big box which is right here by ColourPop. Ooh, look at this i love the inside of the boxes of ColourPop. so i got a lot of goodies in here look at this uh, uh, this is exciting first what i got was the wonderful beautiful going coconuts palette i've seen this all over youtube and it's such a beautiful palette going coconuts crazy palette and it's a very nude and neutral palette easy to use for any beginner so this is what the palette looks like unfortunately a little bit of the brown got contaminated on this silver but it's not a big deal and it comes with a beautiful mirror so there's the mirror it comes with a nice mirror and here are the shades they are so pretty and so easy they melt into the skin they were so easy to swatch you know one of their most famous palettes with the palette I bought the Colourpop pressed powder bronzer which it gives you kind of the same packaging design with the two coconuts on it let's open it up mine is in the shade coconut beach I bought it because look at this they're just so cute they go together so I will show you what this looks like. Again, it comes with a mirror and this is what it looks like. A beautiful bronzer. It's very soft and buttery. I love it. And it's a nice shade. Mm, we have bronzer on. We can try apply some. Let me use a smaller brush here. It's hard to see because we already have bronzer on but it is just a beautiful color when I saw it I wish it would smell like coconut but it doesn't when I saw it I just loved it so I really love the packaging and I'm happy to have this in my collections next I bought this soak up the sun of course by ColourPop and these are two shadows and one is flower child right here this is the flower child and this is in harmony so i'm gonna take them out to show you guys i love the packaging look at this so pretty this is in harmony this beautiful gold wow i just touched the pen and it's so buttery it makes me so happy it's like you have a part of the sun on the back of your hand this is definitely more buttery than the shadows in here though the one that i just tested at first now this is flower child this is what it looks like up close beautiful Ooh, look at that i love this gold shades they're so pretty to use this is so pretty to use inner corner as well or as a topper what i bought was the chic dew and this is the ColourPop serum blush this is one of their new ones but this is what it looks like so as you can see the packaging has a more of a peachy color and in the actual container it's a little bit darker but i love this color so i wonder how it performs on the cheek so it comes with a protective shield there or topper whatever you call this that's what the color looks like and i will try blend it here <sighs> okay okay so as you can see it is very pigmented at first when it comes out and when it blends it gives it this beautiful glowy sun-kissed type of look on the hand oh i just love it it has no smell now this reminds me let me show you of the co beauty and this is in the shade pure 59 so i'll put them both together 
Now the Co Beauty one is a little bit more pigmented, so I think like you have to use a little bit, same shade, and I'll put it beside this one and I'll show you. So you see as I blend how it stays more pigmented. This is more balmy looking, which it gives you more of a glowy sun-kissed look. So I'm happy to have this in my collection as well because sometimes you just want that glow and not too much pigment and I love that. So again, this was in the shade Kiss Kiss. I don't know if I mentioned that. Now next, what I have here is a liquid liner and this was part of the set that came with the Going Coconuts palette. Now this is not a black liner because the collection is kind of more nude side. So this is the ColourPop liquid liner in the shade Honey Girl. So this is what the packaging looks like. Here is the actual liner. Now I don't know how this will be. Oh, it is very, very light. It has a lot of liquid coming out, which is perfect because it's not a black liner. So with it being so nude looking, you don't wanna like scrub it on your eye to sh have something showing. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see right here. It is very beautiful. You can have, you can use this with absolutely no shadow or a very light shadow that looks kind of like your skin color and add this liner in the top lash line right here and it will look very pretty. Now next, I have a bunch. A bunch. Ah, a bunch of this shadows that I picked myself. Now for the shadows that I picked, I also got this. This came for free as I picked those shadows. So this is just a empty palette, magnetic, where you can actually add these shadows inside. So I'm gonna open them each and tell you what they are. Now this is a pressed powder shadow and this is in the shade Friendly. It's a nice lavender purple shade. So this is how tiny, it's pretty tiny. I thought that they would look a little bit bigger, but let's put it together here. So you see this? So it's magnetic. Basically you built your own palette. So I wanted to get this palette because they had another one that was kind of beige and like this color, but I thought if I have the color pop coconuts palette, I might as well get a nice purple one and says color pop and it's spring so I was excited to get that one now next I'm gonna change the change the order as I like but I'm just gonna pick from here next in here we have a pressed powder shadow this is in the shade painted lady so this is what I got and you guys this were on sale I think it came to be like two dollars each and it's US so for two dollars why not it's a nice peach sparkly shade look at that so pretty like that now let's go into this one another pressed powder shadow and this is in the shade tiki oh it's a beautiful nice yellow again i chose this colors and i built my own palette because i wanted to have these colors in my collection so as you can see the pop of color was the purple the rest i got some shimmers and yellows and you'll see up next up next we have this shadow here let me explain it's a nice neutral color and I thought this would be a very good shade for to highlight like your inner corner. It's a very nice buttery shade, very light, look at that, so pretty. So this is perfect to put in the inner corner or in the underneath your brow bone. Next we have this shade right here, let me see here, this is called snake eyes look at that beautiful shade so this is more on the darker side and it does have shimmers in it this one as well because i like to use this with a brown shadow on my eyelid and give it a little bit of more dimension to it it kind of looks gives it like a nice purpley shift to it but i don't know let's see here so it's very nice and neutral, very beautiful color. Next, it's this beautiful something 
it's called something eyeshadow and it is more on the mustardy side and it has glitters in it as well obviously when I say glitters it's not like a glitter eyeshadow it's more of a sparkly eyeshadow I don't know how to describe it it looks like this this is what this one looks like do you see what I mean like look at those shadows they are so pretty and so pigmented they're so buttery and so easy to blend very very pretty oh look at this one this is gloss ball Bull, bull, b u l l, bull, 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 glass bull. Don't worry, we have some mattes coming. It's more on the orange side, so I wanted something a little bit more pigmented. Running out of space on my hand, you can see it's a little bit darker than the rest, just to make it look like this is so pretty. It looks like you have the sun on your eyes. Next, let's go into a pressed powder shadow. This is in the sh shade charge it and this is a matte shadow so this is more of a very light mauve pink shadow you can see so it's more pinkish oh this is so exciting okay this is in the shade imperial matte which is another pinkish color but a little bit darker than the previous one so this is much a little bit darker than the other one i'll put it beside and you guys can see not much of a difference but still darker now this is a matte shade and it's sea stars so it's kind of like a brownish color so it's still a more neutral eyeshadow palette I'm creating but with a little bit more of pop of color than the Go and Coconuts palette. So this is the brown shade I got. Two left. Now these are the darker ones. So this is in the shade Cloud 9. So I wanted to get two dark ones because I wanted to use one as a eye, kind of like an eyeliner type of shadow. So this is what this one looks like. They're so pretty and you can see it has the actual name on the back of the shadow. And the last one is Feathered. But stay tuned because after this I have another box from Colourpop which I think you would be really, really excited to see. Ah, so pigmented. You see what I mean? And now let's put it in here. I still have to play with them around and here is how the final palette looks like. Isn't that pretty? A lot. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mattes. I got seven mattes and I got one, two, three, four, and five shimmery shades. I'll bring it up close so you guys can see. Look at that beautiful palette. So I'm excited. Again, if you go to the ColourPop website, each of the shades is on sale. I think from $4.50 or $4.90 to like $2 and something. It's a very good deal. Stay tuned because we have the final box and in here this is something I really really wanted for a long time. I'm gonna have a separate video on this because I have to go more into details on each of these products but I bought the <gasps> gel eyeliner set. Now this is the color outside the liner set. It has as you can see all the blacks and the browns and the nudes and it goes into colors more dark colors and it goes into this vivid bright colors which reminds me of the NYX ones so I'm excited to add this to my collection because I don't have these colors from NYX and I love them now the thing is that look how tiny this is I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger but let me compare it to a NYX liner here okay so I guess it's the kind of the same size it's just the packaging maybe I was expecting it bigger but yeah here's a NYX liner as you can see right here so it's pretty much the same size as a NYX vivid eyeliner so stay tuned because I'm gonna have a video on this eyeliners but I will give you a sneak peek right now and I'm gonna choose a color to show you I want to choose a green look at this so this is what the gel liner looks like Look at this beautiful liner. Look at that color. That is pigmented and very vivid. So 
that's kind of like a sneak peek. I will have a video coming up on these eyeliners and I'm gonna swatch them all and we're gonna go through all of them. And I'm happy to have this in my collection because you're gonna create so many beautiful looks with this. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed my ColourPop haul. If you did enjoy it and loved it, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you in my next one. Love you guys, bye.